Hey everybody, it's Patrice with Trinity Boutique. So I'm going to do a quick tutorial on how to on how to do a create a chip bag in Photoshop. So here's your template and here's your mock-up. I have both of these available in my Etsy shop at trinityboutique.etsy.com. Um, you can purchase those if you're watching this tutorial um, for half price through midnight tomorrow. So take advantage of that. But here's your template and here that that was your mock-up. So this little thing over here on the right bottom right corner, this is your layers panel. And basically everything that's here will show up here if it's selected. So if I, if I select the lay, Lay's logo, excuse me, it'll show up here. If I deselect, it goes away. So that's just you have your chip bag lines, nutrition facts, barcode, everything that you need for the chip bag. So basically I'm gonna start with the top and the bottom of my chip bag go to your file and I have my color already saved I just basically get images from Google to put on anything that I create so I want it red you click and you drag it hit your shift key before you attempt to um, adjust your size and this is showing up behind my black so I'm gonna take this panel this layer and go up above the rectangle and it moves it up. Now I want to drag that same color to the top panel. So you're going to hold down your shift key, resize, check mark. And that's that. So now I want to do this part. So I'm going to go to my files, locate my, the picture that I want to use, click on it, drag it. Hold down your shift key, resize it, hit your check mark, and re, um, reposition it. The next thing I want to do is the background. So I'm going to go to my files. Here's my background. Click it and drag it. So it did show up in front of my picture, but I'll show you how to do that. Hold down your shift key, go down, resize it. I'm going to go down on this one and then check mark go over here to the bottom layer and put it on top of my hearts layer there so now I want to go to this layer and go above my heart layer so that my picture shows up for your text you're going to hit your text tool click where you want to add your text Hit the check mark. I'm going to select my cursor, readjust my sizing, or um, you can readjust the size or you can readjust how you want it to look. So I'm going to change up the way it looks. So go to layer, layer style, go to your blending options. I'm going to add drop shadow, and here you can change your opacity. You can pretty much do it however you want it to look. I'm going to select stroke and you can change the color but I'm going to use black and so I'm going to select OK. Now I'm going to put my text over here and it's going to say your all that and a bag of chips. You can basically put whatever you want it to say. It really doesn't matter. So I'm going to select that text, well, hit my cursor, select the text, readjust it, and I did misspell that, so let me go back and add my U. And then I'm going to do the same thing for this as I did for this. Go to Layer, Layer Style, Blending Option, and then your settings will still be the same from when you used them here. You don't have to change anything. Select OK. And now I'm going to show you how to get it on your chip bag. So you, you would actually go to File and Save As. Save it as a JPEG. And just type whatever you want to save it as. I'm going to click it. I'm not going to save it again. Go to your mock-up. And in order to get it on your design, you're going to double click here. And I'm going to uncheck these so we don't see that. So I'm going to go here, I'm going to find my mock-up, 
I mean my chip bag template go here drag it select your shift button so that you can readjust the size of it and on the front you just want to see the front of the chip bag on this right here for now so I just want to see the front of the chip bag and there's the front bring this down a little bit more bring this up a little bit more so that I can see my lines hit the check mark we're done hit the X and it's click yes and it will show up on your mock-up so that's that so now you can click edit free transform and you can make it bigger but I'm just gonna leave it the same size so then I'm gonna go back file save as save it as PNG and Valentine heart front save so now double click here to go back to the back of your design you're going to move it so that you see the back and then you go here right click duplicate layer click OK and just bring this back over and I'm going to go here to bring this so that it doesn't overlap my Y drop it down under and there's my chip bag so you'll go to X click the yes and there's the back so do file save as we're going to save it as a PNG and then Valentine heart heart no that's the back sorry so now we'll go to file open PNG and then what you can do is just take and drag since it has a transparent background take it and drag it to the page with the other one you can readjust it and then go over here select your other one your design here and go to edit free transform and you can there you go so there's your mock-up you can put a different color background you can do whatever you like to enhance it you can put your text um, the name of your shop anywhere so I hope that helps you all if you have any questions feel free to ask don't forget to um, hit that thumbs up subscribe and I'll see y'all next time